Hey you guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel In the Life of Damo Dior. Uh I'm so tired, but we up and we at them early because we got a long list of things to do for the day. So I'm starting off my morning by brushing my teeth, simultaneously checking emails, checking orders, um, just getting my whole life together and figuring out step by step what all we got to do today. So I'm up and I'm getting ready for a wax appointment that I have in about 30 to 45 minutes. So before we get to the wax appointment, I am going to pack a couple orders and I'm just going to be taking y'all along the morning with me or whatever while we brush my teeth, do my skincare routine and all that good shit. So this is me getting my bop right because, you know, once you feel that minty flavor in your mouth, you get a little hype and shit. So this is me get my little two step <clears throat> back from just waking up and just. You know, getting myself ready for the day. So, I definitely spend an extended time brushing my teeth. I spend an extended time brushing my teeth and just making sure that I get my gums, get my tongue real good, get inside those cheeks, like behind the teeth, all through the mouth. Like, we don't cut no corners. We don't do no 30-second brushing. Like, we literally get to them. Your mouthpiece is so important and I take my oral hygiene very seriously because I don't want nobody in my face with their breath smelling some type of way and I'm definitely not about to be in front of nobody else's face with my breath smelling no type of way. So yeah, that's what it is. So we rinse in now and of course we use nothing other than Listerine Total Care and this one is zero alcohol because you know the dentist will tell you mouthwash with alcohol in it is just no good for you so make sure y'all get that one with zero alcohol so that it ain't no burning or none of that extra stuff included so i'm gonna rinse this out for a good minute i ain't even gonna hold y'all i'm i'm gonna be rinsing this out and swishing this around in my mouth for a minute because like i said ain't nothing more important than that oral hygiene so now I'm just taking my scarf off and I am getting my little swag up, getting my little, you know, feeling myself a little bit now that I'm coming together. I'm getting my hair products out so that I can begin to do my edges, y'all. This is a, another very important part of the day, but first we're going to start with that face. So... A lot of times in the morning, I just use like minicellar water to wipe my face off. I don't really um, wash my face with soap twice a day. I only do that once. So I'll either do that in the morning or I'll do that at night. But this is the skincare, well, the skin cream that I'm putting on my face right now. It is by Black and White. And it's actually supposed to help with just overall skin tone, just even and everything out. And just giving you that just bomb ass complexion so yeah that's what that was so now we have moved along to the baby hairs the infamous motherfucking baby hairs y'all so this hairstyle kind of old for real like i'm just trying to keep it alive because i have an appointment to get a wig install like a couple days before valentine's day so i'm not gonna go and get a whole nother hairstyle and then have to take that out just to go get the wig installed so I'm trying to bring this shit back to life and do these edges up real quick and hit that hairline just so it could be sucker fair for the day. So first I do go over it with my flat iron. I comb them out and I go over it with my baby flat iron so that I can curl the hair and just get it prepared to do that little swoop de doop de doop shit that it does. And I use Eben, Eben, however you pronounce that, for my edge control preference. Sometimes I use um, the Got To Be gel as well, but a lot of times I don't need it. So I might just go in with the Eben and just make sure everything is laid and slayed and looking all right for the day. 
Don't mind my face, y'all. This shit get for real. It ain't no talking when I'm doing these baby hairs. Like, it ain't no breathing. It ain't doing nothing. Like, I'm trying to get this shit to swoop the right way so that it can be a great fucking day because Lord knows when my hair ain't right, I ain't right. And I don't care what day that is. That goes for any day. When my hair ain't right, when my edges ain't laid, bitch, I'm not dumb. Ugh, I'm getting irritated. Clearly because... This shit ain't curling like I'm trying to get at the curl, but we gonna make this shit work. So don't even trip. Yeah, but one thing about me when I'm doing my edges, I'm gonna keep going over the same part over and over and over and over until I feel like that shit is to my liking. So yeah, and all that. Smooth down them hairs at the top real quick and just make sure that, you know, we getting this shit together. You feel me? But yeah. So now I'm putting my chain on and we getting close to being ready to hit the next step of the morning, which is going to be packing orders. I'm actually glad that I don't have nails on right now because it's very hard to get these damn chains and shit on when I got those long ass nails on. So yeah. So now I'm going through my drawers, just looking for my packing materials, which is like my pre-printed labels. I'm ripping them apart and I'm addressing them and just getting ready to address these couple orders that I have for the day so that I can stop by the mail for the post office before or after I head to my wax appointment, just depending on, you know, how much time I'm working with, because fucking with me, I'm always late to some shit. So I might not even make it before the wax appointment. I might have to go afterwards. So now I'm about to head out. Grab me some water real quick. Put my shoes on. I'm like really pressed for time right now. So I'm just about to throw this jacket on and I'm about to throw some slides on. I don't even have time to really accessorize the outfit like I want to, but this gonna have to do for right now because I'm not trying to be late to this wax appointment. And here is me forgetting the package. <laughs> I swear if my head wasn't attached to my body, I would lose that motherfucker too. But we are on our way. And ugh, nigga, we made it. We made it out the door, so that's a step. I know I'm about to have to book it to this place because Lord knows. I'm forever late. I don't care how early I get up. What intentions I have to get out the door. You can definitely count on me to be late. Period. So. <clears throat> Hold on y'all. I need to drink some water. I finally made it out the house um, and I'm on my way to the wax center right now. Y'all, mm, mm, mm. tired is an understatement. Like, I really don't even know why I set myself the fuck up like this and make these appointments early in the morning. I'm not a morning person and I am not afraid to admit that. I'd rather be asleep and that's just how I feel. I have never been a morning person and I don't know if I'm ever going to be a morning person. Mm -mm. Get somebody else to do it. So as I was saying, my wax appointment, oh shit, I made the wrong right turn. The European Wax Center is about 20 minutes away from my house and my appointment is at 9.45. So, we're going to see how this goes. Is it me or like, am I just in a rush? I really be hating when people make slow ass turns and be acting like they don't know what direction they're going in. Like what the fuck is it just me or like is it because i'm in a rush mm -hmm. this is the shit that i'd be talking about like people 
drop so fucking slow and I could see if there was like a bunch of snow on the ground or like it was raining or something like that like why the fuck are you driving so slow like do you not know where you're going like are you old like I'm just really not understanding like maybe I got road rage maybe I'm the problem am I the drama the fuck god like fucking go You know what? And when I when I was in my bed, when I was in my fucking bed, y'all, and my alarm went off at 8.30, I said, oh, that's ample time. I'm good. I'm going to be able to get myself together, record while I'm doing so. And now look at me in a rush. I, I know that I be needing more time than I be needing, but it be so hard for me to get up. That's why... I'm on big entrepreneurship. That's why I'm trying to make sure that I create generational wealth for me and my family. I'm not a morning person and you know, if my daughter don't want to get up in the morning and go to work, I want her to be able to still get her money, still get it back in her sleep. Uh, Ignore that. <sighs> I'm so sleepy, y'all. Mm. And just like that, we are in there. Okay. Let me grab my phone. Take a sip of water. We are in Oakland. 5402. I thought it was eight minutes. Out okay. Did you want to revoke four weeks out? Uh, no. Okay. Um, you give dollar worth of points if you rebook with us in center, and we're coming upon spring break. Okay. Yeah, so no. Okay. How was your service today? Good. Your total is 29 today. Would you like to go to tip on the card? Uh, yeah. Very good. Because it was, you know, you don't need to get it Alright, what's the name? Uh, Megan Catholic. Megan Swintowski. That's me. Okay. It's not giving me any counter to check out. Two? It's not giving me any. I walked in at 9.51 though. Like, Change it. I did. I don't even understand. Oh, there we go. No. No, I just you that. Thank you, babe. No. Oh my God. I'm like standing there. Yeah. But she been helping like everybody else since I've been. So I'm like, 
Oh. How are you feeling today? Okay. It been busy for you this morning? Not really. I don't know what's going on right now. Yeah, it was like it was like a little congested at the desk, and I came in and sat, and then she's like, "Oh, you missed a grace period," and I'm like, "Well." You were talking to people for a few minutes, so <laughs> I'll be out. No, oh, girl. Which one did you talk to? Um, the lady with the twist. I was like, I don't even know if they gonna let me bring this camera in here. <laughs> How long are you working for today? Until two thirty, I'm out of here. I'm like really hoping nobody calls. Deep breath. Deep breath. Deep breath in and release. Deep breath in and release. Like you don't want to put a whole bunch of stuff on, but right. Deep breath in, release. My hands be sweating and shit. Deep breath. Okay, girl, I appreciate it. You're welcome. Hey, I wish I would have seen you earlier. Look at this girl. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, tried to play me. Fuck. If y'all heard the lady when I walked in there, she was trying to be on that shit with me. Like, typically, I like for Kiana to do my waxes or whatever. So, Kiana had walked in the room, but walked out of the back while, you know, we were going back and forth about me being after the grace period or whatever. And she was just like, come on, like, you know, like, and then she took me and she waxed me. That was love. And I appreciate that. That's why I'm a forever tip the people that service me because, yeah, when you show fucking love, people are more willing to show love back. I really want to go in Starbucks right here and get a, um, a breakfast in the real quick. I'm probably really doing the most. Let me put my blankets on. But I want a sandwich, though. A sandwich is what I'm going to get. I don't know why I just feel like I can park anywhere I want to, do anything I want to. Like, that's the rebel of me, y'all. Don't try this shit at home. Okay. My camera's dying. Oh my god. <laughs> I hate this. Alright. Alright, y'all. I am back. I feel better. I really should not have even gotten long nails. Like, I should have kept them short. After this, I'm getting these bitches cut back down though because I can function better with them short as far as like doing shit with my baby. Putting on my clothes, my shoes, like I can function way more better when my shit's short. But you know, for the holiday, a little switch up real quick. And yeah, we about to make a couple more stops, run some errands, and then we going to the house. Cause I want to lay up and be warm before it's all said and done. Y'all gonna know about the obsessions. Like, I guarantee you that. This shit gonna be a household name. I can't wait to take my ass back in the house for real, for real, and lay up and get under the covers with my baby. My big baby and my little baby. Cause this shit ain't for me. So anyway, stay tuned while I take y'all on a day with me. So the deliveries are done. I have to get off here for a minute so I can focus and keep my eyes on the road. But the deliveries are done and I am heading home now. Y'all, I'm burnt the fuck out. My energy is slowly but surely depleting and leaving me. So I'm gonna go home and recharge and eat something and see what else there is to get into on this good, good Friday afternoon.
I've been in this car for hours. I'm ready to get out the car, but I said I wanted to get in the field today, so. Anyway, stay tuned, and don't go nowhere yet. Just stay tuned, you ain't doing shit anyway.